Hello, my friends, and welcome. Thank you for joining me today for these few moments with our Good Shepherd. I read verse 6 from Psalm 22. But I am a worm and not a man, scorned by men and despised by the people. Psalm 22 is a fascinating psalm. And our Lord keeps going back to this psalm in his hours upon the cross. And this, this verse may catch us by surprise. Now, what do you think of worms? Well, for some of us, they're bait for fishing. Others may like them because they help in the garden. But for many, Worms are slimy, disgusting, dirty things that you don't even want to touch. And so it's surprising to hear Jesus call himself a worm. But really, this psalm is so exacting in its description of the agonies Jesus felt on the cross. If you were to stand and watch somebody who was crucified, you would see him wiggling and twisting like a worm trying to find some relief from the excruciating agony his body was going through. And yet, this prophecy even goes deeper than that, for it describes how Jesus' enemies were thinking of him. They refused to treat him even with the common decency and dignity that a human being would deserve. They treated him instead as if he were some contemptible worm that just deserved to be crushed underfoot. And why did Jesus put up with that? He's God, the creator. Why would he put up with such indignity? It was for you and me, for the sins of the whole world. When the mighty Son of God took a step down from heaven to become a human being, it was already a big step. But now turning himself over to arrest in Gethsemane, torture, and ultimately crucifixion was even worse than that. He humbled himself to the will of the Father and in undying concern for your salvation and mine, we pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you are Lord and God of all, yet you humbled yourself as though you were a worm, not even a man. Receive my humble gratitude and praise for your undying concern for my salvation. Amen. Well, everyone, give praise to your God, for he became a worm so that you might be glorified.